Alright, as is on this uh, Let's Play, uh, it's doing a lot of the same event over and over again, but with different sized bikes. Also, this menu is not having a nice time. Let's get off it. Uh, I used the Honda in the last episode. I'm going to use the Honda again because I always use the 250. Um, I always use the Yamaha in 250 events. I was about to say I always use the 250 in Yamaha events. Let's go for a bright yellow one, though. Go for a bit of a bumblebee looking motorcycle. Grab my new helmet. Team Nvidia. That's right. Going for a, a bumblebee look. Okay, well, it's not really going to work out. Can't have yellow, so I'll just go for black and white. Same stages as last week, just on quicker bikes, so this should be over with a fraction faster and then as you go up the bike classes the events are over uh, faster and faster until they start adding laps on to make up for how much faster the bikes are I don't think that the two, uh, 1000 cc southern 100 will just be three laps for example but we'll find out when we get there because I don't know also last week I thought I was going to unlock that Yamaha 125 uh, from doing them, um, the uh, men and motors races, but I didn't. But there is still one more 125 event to go that's not part of like the actual tourist trophy or any Manx event or like a rider challenge race. So I guess it's fine. Also, Jesus Christ, this Honda feels way faster than the Yamaha. I mean, it might be just because I was just on a 125 just now. Obviously, I'm doing a recording day, like I mentioned, so... Gonna be doing a fair couple of uh, events in the same day. Uh, this definitely feels way faster than the 125. I, it also feels faster than the 250 Yamaha did, which is probably about accurate. Also, the cornering stats on this Honda are way better than the cornering stats on the Yamaha, so I don't know why you'd ever ride the Yamaha except out of personal preference, which is exactly why I did it, by the way. But uh, for 250 events, I think I might be sticking to Honda. Just to make it easy, you know? Obviously, it is only a 250, so I'm not going to be done with these stages in a matter of seconds. It is still going to take a little while. Because it's still a little bike uh, relative to the other uh, engine capacities that I could have. But it's FAST uh, relative to the 125. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kept it together there. I haven't been leaning on my opponent this entire race. I've been clearly ahead, uh, unlike the 125, which means that this video should take a little bit less time to render because I don't have to render another bike. Maybe. Stage 2, this is the only one that I didn't get first place in on the 125s. Hopefully I can uh, rectify that on the 250s. I'll probably crash and fuck it up again. Although that was mostly the controller's fault, and I haven't had a problem with the controller since I wiggled it after that happened, so... I, could, I reckon I can keep it together this time. Away we go. Shoot past the first Honda which is, has the exact same paint scheme as me, but the guy has actual yellow leather. And I mean, matching up your leathers and bike is pretty gay. I don't know why I'd do it. I'm not that gay. But, I did do it, and... 
this is the one stage that I crash on. Uh, it's probably also the one stage that I don't get a podium finish on. That was not cool from that guy uh, taking me down like that. Thanks very much, but didn't really need that to happen. Can't even. It was a guy on the red Yamaha. I'm going to take him out. I'm not going to take him out. That'd be one a dumb idea because this isn't road rash. I'd probably end up crashing myself before I crashed him out. Uh, and two, it wouldn't be sporting. Uh, although my main issue is the first thing that I'd probably crash if I tried to take anyone out, so I'm not going to do it. Right, I've already had my um, my crash for this week, so I'm going to go ahead and not have it uh, through that chicane between the wall and the hedge. That feels like ages ago now, we're miles down the road already. Up into fourth. Second place is on the cards. Not really looking at a first. The guy that took me out is disappearing at the front. Unless I get like some nitrous, like that movie Redline. Which is just as much of a spectacle as Kill the Kill, if not more. Would recommend Redline, definitely. Anime movies tend to be really good. I'm gonna just gonna put that out there. But yeah, first place not looking on the cards. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Podium finish on the cards. Some guy took himself out on my bike. Go, 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 go! He got reset further up the road. Take the third from him as he tries to get started. There should be another guy coming down the road with a bit more momentum. It looks like he's got tangled up with the uh, blue yam behind. So I still got on the podium. Wasn't a good finish. Did crash twice. It's not really what you want to be doing. Exactly the same thing is happening in uh, this championship than what happened in the last one. Although third is better than fourth. No, it's noticeably better than fourth, actually. As you go down the results in a race, like there's a point at the bottom where they all kind of blend together and it doesn't matter if you got like 14th or 15th because points tend not to go down that far and no one cares about where you are down that end. But at the top, the gap of like prestige between the positions, positions, you, I, I'm getting excited, I can't speak properly. Uh, between the positions you get is bigger. Like the gap between first and second is pretty big because everyone's big because everyone cares about the winner. The gap between second and third is a little bit smaller because they have to stand like on the sides of the podium and it's like whatever. But then the gap from third to fourth is big because third place marks the end of the podium and it marks the end of like most mainstream reporting. So if you don't look very far into the results of a race, you'll only ever hear about the podium, which means to finish fourth is to finish a long way back from the podium. In my mind. If that makes sense. Anyway, none of that matters now, because I'm going to win all the rest of the stages, just like last time. I'm not going to win them with riding like that. This is probably the, in the game at least, probably one of the more difficult sections, because of how up and down they made the road, and how uh, the physics of the bike going in the air works uh, in comparison to when it's on the ground. And like it's difficult to get the throttle on and everything a little bit, so you got to be careful. But I usually make it happen. Controller pulling to the right. It's like I'm on the opposite of a NASCAR. Neck and neck. 
with my body on his Yamaha here. Big jump. Come off the throttle to try and slow me down. Don't die. Still alive. Controller pulled a little bit in the other direction there. I just managed to slap the tablet, so that was probably an annoying sound. Uh, doesn't matter too much. There's a bit of this is some intense racing. Looking over my shoulder, he's stolen it from me at the last second. I've got to steal it back. Got to steal it back. No can do. He's only winning this championship because he knocked me off my bike. I want everyone to remember that. Jim. I've forgotten his second name. Jim. Just Jim is fine. Jim is only winning this because he's a dirty, rotten cheat, right? And he gets to start on pole position every time, and I have to come up from the back. I should be getting points for overtaking everyone else. Jim, Jim Baguli, I think. Baguli, Bagule, Baguli sounds fine. Sounds fairly namey. Right. On the red Yamaha. Up at the front, past the pack, now me versus Jim. I'm going to want to win these last two stages, otherwise, chances are I'm not going to come out on top on this championship, unless he has a full wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink, nudge, wink, nudge, nudge, wink. Probably best not to try and fight him in an acceleration zone. Uh, he has fallen behind me though, because I've managed to keep my bike on the ground instead of going over the bumps and therefore get more throttle on. I'm going to leave him behind up the mountain. There we go. Okay, well... I mean... It was fun while it lasted, I guess, but... Come on. Got to catch up and pass him back now. Give him a bump. I don't think he fell, but that was a warning shot. You know, I'm not out to kill straight from the start. I got a. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him fair warning to back off, and it looks like he's taken my warning. Watch out for those little bollards at the side of the road that aren't hidden by the white soft stuff, because they will end your day pretty quick. There's no destructible environment in this game. There's no signposts that can be knocked over. So if you hit something, you're dead. And I mean, when you're on a bike, when you hit something, chances are you are dead, whether or not you knock it over or, or not. So probably best to avoid everything anyway, is my advice. More bollards on the exit of... Oh, got lucky that there weren't any there. I would have been D.E.D. -E dead. Although I'm pretty sure I know where most of them are. Because I get killed by them quite a lot. The mountain section is probably only the most dangerous because of those bollards. If they weren't there, there'd be uh, less deaths on this game. Not in real life. In real life, I don't think they kill that many people. That tends to be buildings, apparently, from what I've seen. A video from TT. I have left Jim behind. My time is now. This is my time. Ignore the one where I said my time is now. I was trying to think of what Daniel Ricardo's whole thing is, and I somehow I accidentally got um, John Cena, which is a very dead meme at this point. I apologise. I'm, I'm, de I'm deeply sorry that I used a meme that should not be used. But everyone that uses a meme that shouldn't be used needs to be sorry. It's just the way it is, you know? Alright, phone call, hang on. Alright, back. I'm supposed to be going to a revision session in school today. Uh, I've decided I don't want to go. And I'm not trying to sound like a badass or anything. I'm not trying to be, oh, look at me, I'm not not going to school, not doing my revision. 
I've just decided that on the basis that uh, it's it's English and science revision, right? Uh, and I have it's it's non-compulsory as well, but, so there's no way anyone will find out I didn't go. Uh, anyone that it matters to whether or not I, I went is why I mean. Sorry, I'm out of breath. So I've just just run up the stairs and I'm still talking. Um, I I'd say at best. There are like three or four people I could talk to in either of those classes. And I know for a fact that none of them will be there. So I don't know what the point of going is. Especially because I can just revise and stuff at home. You know, I probably won't do much. Definitely not as much as if I was actually in school doing it. But I can still do it here. And I can... I can blag like I went. And no one will know. I just need to remember to turn my bike around in the garage. Make it look like I went out on it and parked it up again, and no one will be any the wiser. It's a, it's a real genius plan. I think everyone should be jealous of how smart I am when it comes to this sort of stuff. Besides, like Pink Floyd once said, you know, Pink Floyd the man. That's, that was his name. Was it his name? I don't know anything about Pink Floyd. Uh, and I'm not, they did that song Money as well. I'm not talking about that one, I'm talking about the other one. The one about education. It's gone how it goes. Um, anyway. All done with the 250s. Uh, on to 400, I think now, unless I've unlocked anything else. Any new events? I need a drink. I want a drink. Gonna get a drink. Uh, exhaust, gimp suit, video. Videos don't work on my copy. I've said that a few times, I'm gonna say it again. So, all done with the 125s and 250s for now, sort of, they're still the array expert, but whatever. Moving on to the 400ccs, we've done a lot, novice cup uh, next week. <laughs>